Hey everyone, this is Mary from Empowered by Iron. As many of you know, we do our Eat for Strength course periodically throughout the year where we take principles that we've learned through research and trial and error and teach women how to fuel their bodies for strength athlete performance. So whether you compete in strongman or CrossFit or weightlifting or powerlifting, we've built this course specifically for you. One big question that we get throughout this course is, should I do macro tracking or should I do intuitive eating? During this course, we have basic overarching principles that can be applied either to a macro specific group, so people who track macros, or an intuitive eating group, so people who are solely intuitive eaters. I wanted to briefly break it down for you and help you determine whether or not you should be a macro tracker if you choose to do this eat for strength course, course, or maybe in general, should you be tracking macros or should you be doing intuitive eating? So macro tracking is really good, I would say, for most people. Most people can track their macros and really thrive on it as long as they are committed and dedicated. Um, it's really good for people who are very analytical. For those of you who listen to the podcast, you know that Kristen is very much a numbers person. So she has a, she does a really good job of breaking down her macros based on meals, based on timing or around training. She's really good about that. And where she has troubles is if she's not tracking, if she's simply going based off of hunger cues, she's not entirely sure how to process that. So macro counting is good for most people and especially those who are just getting into any type of lifting or maybe this is your first time tracking. Um, I will say before we move on to intuitive eating, if you've tried counting macros, but you haven't really given it 100% effort, like really dedicated yourself, we would always suggest that you start with macro tracking. Overall, it's just a little bit better because it's more controlled and you really know what's going in and out of your body. The other kind is intuitive eating. Now intuitive eating is great for a variety of reasons, but specifically it's really good for people who have come out of any type of disordered eating or eating disorders who have a really difficult time tracking their food and then tracking it without making it some type of deficit or some type of starvation thing. So if you have recovered from any disordered eating or eating disorder, you know, I'm in that boat, that's what happened to me. I have a very hard time committing myself to macros because I feel like I'm missing out on things. And over time, I will either start to starve myself so I just won't eat as much throughout the day as I should and try to keep all my macros to the evening and it, it kind of becomes a nightmare and I end up binging or I just end up binging because I feel like I'm putting so much pressure on myself to eat at a certain time and eat certain foods and blah, blah, blah. So intuitive eating can be really good for people who come from disordered eating background or who have, who have had or have recovered from an eating disorder. It can also be good for people who have tried macro tracking and just simply can't stick to it, whether it's a lifestyle thing, whether it's just a mental thing. Intuitive eating can be really good for people who macro tracking just doesn't work for. Uh, the caveat to intuitive eating is you really have to start to learn to recognize your hunger cues, recognize how you're feeling throughout the day, and start to get a good sense of what your body needs. Um, intuitive eating is not a binge, so a lot of people say intuitive eating and they think, well that just means you can eat whatever you want, whatever you want. And while that's true, yes, you have to be very cognizant of what you put in your body overall. Because everything that you take in is going to affect how you perform athletically. So to kind of summarize it, macro tracking is good for people in general, people who are new to fitness, people who have been tracking for a while, people who they're just starting to track their food, or maybe even people who just haven't given it 100% yet. Intuitive eating is really good for people who come from disordered eating pasts or eating disorders, or people who macro tracking just simply doesn't work for them, whether it's schedule or mental, as I said, it just doesn't work out for them. So I hope that this helps any of you who are thinking about our Eat for Strength course, whether you should do a macro-based or intuitive eating-based course. 
as always, if you have any questions, you can email us at empoweredbyiron at gmail.com. You can reach out to us on Instagram at empoweredbyiron, or you can always send us a message on Facebook. And with that, let's get strong, ladies.